Now let's talk about two different automated commands, conditional mode change and fit image. And I'm deliberately putting two in one here because they're both fairly straightforward. Conditional mode change is kind of an unusual option. It's not one you'll use all the time. Later on when we talk about the idea of creating an action that you're going to apply to different images, it's probably where it would come more into play. What it means is to be able to say, for example, say you're going to run an automated command that was as part of the step, had to make sure that everything was in RGB mode. So what you could do is say, no matter what it currently is, or I could just do all, make sure it's in RGB. Now in this case it won't do anything because my image is already in RGB mode. But again, this will be make more sense later on when we're talking about recording an action. Now the other option, and again this is one that I would probably use mostly within an action because frankly to do it with one image like I'm doing here kind of defeats the purpose of automation because it's not really saving me any time. But here's how it works. Fit image allows you to say I want to make sure this image is f constrained within a certain size. Now let me cancel this for a second and just find out how big this image is. So it's seeing it's 2048 by 1360 and as you can quite obviously tell this is in landscape orientation. If I go to fit image it brings up this dialog box and the one part of confusion about this is if you want to constrain it to say make the longest measurement a certain number. For example, make either the width a thousand if it's in landscape mode or make the height a thousand if it's in portrait mode. You would do this. Put the same number for both. So as an example, let's put 1200, 1200. Well, in this case, I know it's in landscape mode, so it's going to use 1200 as the width. So once again, this would really be make more use, be more useful when you're actually having it as part of an action where you don't know when you've got a folder full of images and you want to make sure it applies accordingly. So in this case again it's, it's kind of pointless to run this automated action where I could just go to the image size menu and do the same thing but just want to show you what it looks like when I click OK. Now if I check the image size you'll see the width is 1200. Now, as I said once we later on talk about actions and some of the things you can include in action this would will make more sense to use both of those conditional mode change at fit image when you're in the middle of recording an action that you're going to apply to a folder full of images.